If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new album in the description. Yeet just announced that he's dropping a deluxe to his latest album, Too Alive, this Friday, April 1st, so in two days. And today I wanted to go over the announcement of this thing, what this means for the music on this deluxe, what we can expect to be on this new EP or like, you know, extended version of the original album that only dropped a couple of weeks ago and just where yeet is headed in his career because this dude is going up so it's crazy how i learned about yeet because obviously it was in the discord from y'all um you know also people like suavo gotta shout out my man putting me on to him and then y'all show me his music in the streams i think this was like november last year october uh, when he just got that drake co-sign and people were just really starting to notice his music in the meantime, you know, until now, his music just completely, you know, taken off like that. Uh, his, his music being used as sounds on TikTok, hella like Get Busy or Sorry About That, for example, or, or you know, popping that really are, no pun intended, popping on TikTok and just on social media. So this dude is really like, he going up like that. So when he dropped his latest album, Too Alive, this was yet another stepping stone in his career to even bigger fame. This dude has already gotten, you know, the the lyrical lemonade Cole Bennett directed music videos he's gotten um you know over like what seven million monthly listeners on Spotify so shit's going crazy for this dude um so shout out to my man Yeet this is like a completely new wave I just got into it but I've been listening to him pretty consistently over the past couple of weeks so Tua Live dropped we had a you know bunch of bigger features on there artists that he hadn't worked with before I'm talking about Thugger I'm talking about Gunna for example just showing that he's really found his entry into the mainstream in hip-hop and his sound is something that he can sustain for some time and of course also with that drake co-sign you know the a new drake check could be on this new album but let, i'm gonna get into that in a second let's talk about the announcement for this thing first so Ye took to his instagram story only a couple of hours ago to post this so this as we can see is the cover art which we're gonna look at in a second as well for this new so-called geek pack or also the geek pack which it has been called um, now yeet also confirmed that there was going to be a deluxe even in february i think before the original to a live album dropped so we knew that something was coming just not when or how uh, or what it was going to be and then as like the caption to this post he just you know named the date april 1st 2022 and then a bunch of tractor emojis which don't really make a lot of sense but yeet is kind of weird and funny like that so this is it this is the announcement that this geek pack to two alive this deluxe version to two alive is dropping this friday we can look at the cover art real quick because i think that's also pretty interesting i just you know found a couple of things that obviously correspond to the original album um we can see that this has more of a red tone to it we can also see that the ufo that was in the background of the first album now is above the person with the two alive in front of him and like sucking in the number two and of course we also have the words geek pack um at the bottom so this is obviously a spiritual successor to the original album also just from the cover art so i do like that i do like that there's some sort of you know combination between the two but obviously this is kind of like what every artist does nowadays just make it a different tint and call it the deluxe album cover but still i'm very excited for this yeet is somebody who has a thousands of leaks out there now i'm not sure if it's that much but you know a lot of leaks out there because he's also one of the new people on a new wave that's just like previewing music like crazy on his social media so uh, we can already kind of deduce what uh, you know songs are gonna be on here obviously as i talked about earlier the big one that is rumored is the drake feature on a track called new turban um which has been you know kind of leaked or like talked about already but we've just never gotten it this was supposed to be at least people were saying it was supposed to be and then they were disappointed that it wasn't on the original album so uh, this is something that the fans have been wanting this is something that the fans were looking forward to and we might get it with the deluxe and this could kind of be like a you know the way the trip you Red did it for um, Mr. Red, oh, not, not Mr. Red, what was the album called? A Trip at Night, where the Drake feature got added to the track list later on so that people would come back to the album and then stream it again, because obviously the Drake co-sign is going to go big for Yeet. Like, that, that track 
will probably just like do the same for Yeet like you know Yes and D did for a little baby for example because uh, Yeet and baby both had or have a pretty solid fan base and like their own kind of cult going on but then they just need someone like Drake to put them on like the big big stage and I feel like that is what's going to be very interesting for Yeet also coming up in his career it's been super interesting watching this dude's career just you know take off like that um, and I think the way that a lot of people are celebrating this dude for what he does you know that this is actually a sound that will be around for quite some time those rage beats with his kind of like almost lazy but at other points very energetic uh, projection and delivery I think that that is something that especially this new generation and also younger people like just now starting listening to hip-hop I'm talking about 14 year olds 15 year olds that that is something that could influence them very much and also dictate the way hip-hop is moving forward I think we're gonna see a lot more like this I think we should be really on the lookout for those rage beats for that type of wave that has been going on in the underground for quite some time now and people like Yeet um, that still feel like they're like you know the people's the listeners gems because obviously listening to Yeet um, a couple of months ago n not a lot of people would have known in the mainstream who you were listening to but now he's at like 7 million monthly listeners the song Money So Big got like 60 million on Spotify and it's just all over TikTok so I feel like that that is the wave that is something that we should be very, watching very closely even if you can like it you you know you don't have to like it I didn't like it from the start I was always very skeptical um, just you know facing these new rage beats and stuff like that but now just getting into it and listening to it more because I'm trying to get into it um, you know I can appreciate it way more than I did just you know like a half a year ago for example so y'all really didn't put me onto the wave shout out to the people on the discord and on the live streams you know always the same people that um, just put me onto him just you know got me in, in, the, in the realm on that one and now I'm looking forward to this deluxe honestly I hope the Drake track is on there it would be really amazing to hear what Drake can do on a Yee track we've heard him on a Rage beat already on trip at night so it'll be nothing like completely new but still on a yee track that'd be pretty big for the dude anyway if you haven't yet go check out the original album to alive a lot of bangers on there also check out those music videos he's done and then on friday we can look forward to this the deluxe the geek pack for to alive yeah so that's my thoughts on this my opinions on where yeet is headed for this new album now obviously i want to know what you think about this are you excited for the deluxe for to alive the geek pack what are your expectations is the drake track going to be on there or not and where do you see yeet's future in hip-hop all of that please let me know in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases make sure to subscribe turn on notifications hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly join my discord in the description until the next one, you'll have an incredible day and you'll take care.